about a year No, not three or four I don't want that kind of forever In my life anymore Forever always seems to be around When it begins But forever never seems to be around When it ends So give me your forever will do from you People spend so much time every single day running around all over town giving their forever away But no, not me I won't let my forever roam Now I hope I can find my forever home So give me your forever Please your forever Not a day less will do From you I saw something both sad and beautiful on the drive here. The road was lined with burned trees from when the bushfires ravaged this area. And it was just so sad thinking of all the damage that was done. But as I looked to the top of those trees, I saw life. I saw bright green leaves. And it was beautiful because I looked at that and I thought to myself, in life we can be burned to a crisp. We can think we're done, but if like those trees we keep looking at the sky, we can be reborn again. Like a handless clock with numbers, an infinite of time. No, not the forever found, only in the mind. Forever always seems to be around when things begin. But forever never seems to be around when things end So give me your forever Please your forever Not a day less will do This is one of my favorite Ben Harper songs. I just think it's a really beautiful song and I love the way that he talks about love and, and forever love. And I was listening to it in the car on the way here and I decided I just I wanted to share it with you guys. And it sums up the way that I think of love and, and forever love. And I've never had that forever love and I still believe I will find it one day i'm not really looking for it at this particular season of my life but i still do hope and believe that i'll find my forever one day and uh like the song says i don't give my forever away easily because i'm not one to constantly give my forever away and um yeah i just think it's a really beautiful song I didn't vlog a lot today, but I'll, I'll share the little bit that I did vlog with you guys now. Right, off my car now, okay. It was cute when you were on the camera, but um, you're gonna scratch my paint. Thank you. You're very friendly though. Nice to meet you. That bird seriously just take a dump on my lens? We are not friends anymore. We are definitely not friends anymore. I've just came down to the main street to get some lunch and also to try and find somewhere that sells a pillow. Don't you hate when you have that feeling where you know you've forgotten something but you can't figure out what it is? After I set up my tent, I, I figured out what I've forgotten. I forgot my pillow and my extra blanket. I got a sleeping bag but no pillow so I'm gonna be uncomfortable and potentially cold tonight. So I'm trying to figure out if I can find 
anywhere that sells pillows around here. I found a supermarket. Let's see if they have pillows. They've got an aisle with just all random bits and pieces. Ah, I found them. They're not that expensive either. $14.95. I mean, they're not going to be the most comfortable pillows, but it's better than no pillow at all. So, yay to that. I just got to a place called Reed Lookout, which is in the Grampians. And the view up here is absolutely amazing. There's so many hikes around here. I'm about to do the one to a place called the Balconies, which isn't too long a hike, but I've seen some photos of it and it looks absolutely breathtaking. And that's where I wanna go and watch the sunset. It is pretty cloudy today, so I don't think we're gonna get the greatest sunset, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy the view either way and I'll take you guys with me. I just spotted this really cool rock formation that's overlooking the lake over there. So what I've done is I've set up my tripod over there and I've got my remote and I'm gonna carefully walk up to the rock and try to get a photo of me on it. I've gotta be a bit careful because I injured my knee recently. So I, uh, <laughs> I gotta be careful climbing these rocks, man. I'm, I'm getting old. I was at the gym doing squats, which I never do because I've got a bad knee, always had a bit of a bad knee. And um, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> it's not that great at the moment. But uh, we're gonna do it for the shot. It's actually, it's not that high over the edge. It looks like it is in the frame, but it's actually not that high. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my camera uh, just take photos every two seconds. I'm gonna stand on this one. It'll look a bit cooler, although I am a bit more scared standing on this one because it is a bit higher up. The earth here is just so spongy and soft. It feels like you're walking on nature's carpet. <laughs> it is just so nice. I stumbled across this heart-shaped rock and it just, it's so perfect that it looks like it's been photoshopped and even the way that it's got these beautiful purple flowers around it and the texture of the water going through the rock, it just looks really cool. <laughs> I wish I had someone cooler to take a photo of than me, but I, I had to do something with it. So I set up the tripod and got a photo with it. I feel like it. It looks kind of melancholy to be honest, <laughs> but it is what it is. I made it to the balconies. How beautiful is this view? And uh, this is the highlight right over here. There's a rock formation that looks like a dragon's mouth. And uh, a lot of people actually take photos standing in the dragon's mouth. You're not supposed to, it's all blocked off. And uh, every time I, I think about taking a risk like that for a photo, I think of Ava and Zoe and then I think, I'll just admire from afar. It's not worth it for a photo. I get wobbly legs around heights. So uh, I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm just gonna enjoy the view from here, but it really is uh, stunning. Like a handless clock with numbers. Will do. 